In this video, we're going to do a very classic type of example. And the reason that problems of this sort are classic is that they bring together a lot of stuff. So we'll review continuity, but we'll also review one-sided limits. In particular, I'm going to give you a piecewise defined function involving an unknown constant A. And this function switches pieces at three. And I'm going to try to make this function be continuous at three by selecting appropriate values of A. And we'll just go through this point by point. What do we need for continuity? Well, to be continuous at three, F of three needs to be defined. And we do have that automatically. Three is greater than or equal to three. So F of three is three squared plus A or nine plus A. All good so far. Now we need this limit to exist. And it's not at all obvious that this limit does exist. Because when we approach three from one direction, we have one equation. And when we approach three from another direction, we have a different equation. And for the limit to exist, it shouldn't matter which side we approach three from. To tackle this, we'll use one-sided limits. So this limit exists if and only if the limit as x approaches three from the left equals the limit as x approaches three from the right. What happens as we approach three from the left? What is this limit? Well, if we're to the left of three, we are in this piece. And this is a polynomial. It's continuous. So to compute the limit as x approaches three of this, we just take three and stick it in for x. And we get six minus a. What's the limit as we approach three from the right? Now, if we approach three from the right, we're in this piece. And this is a polynomial. It's continuous. To find the limit, we'll just take three and stick it in there. So for the left-hand limit to equal the right-hand limit, this equality must be satisfied. And this is something we should be able to 
So without too much trouble, take the nine over to the left. Take the A's over to the right. This limit exists if and only if A equals negative three halves. So the only possible answer to this question is negative three halves. For any other value of A, this limit won't even exist and will fall down here. We have one more condition. So let's say that A does equal negative three halves. Then F of three is nine minus three halves So 7.5. And what is this common limit? Well, it's either 6 minus A or 9 plus A. For this value of A, that's the same thing. 7.5. So our last condition is satisfied. F of three equals the limit as X approaches three.